So let me begin today over here by congratulating Dr. N. Palani Appan for holding the position of as the chairperson of Safe Motherhood Committee for Foxy. Congratulations, Doctor. Thank you very much. And welcome to the studio, sir, today. Today, also, Doctor is holding the position of Professor and Head of Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Sri Ramchandra Medical College at Chennai. So today, sir, we would be discussing a few key points about preterm labor and preterm premature rupture of membranes. So, 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 what is your opinion that can this condition be prevented or predicted as such? Uh, preterm labor prediction prevention is probably the best part of research activity going on in the current uh, global uh, medical armamentarium and it has been quite difficult for quite some time now and uh, we've been having real challenges in prediction and prevention there are few strategies which you can predict and prevent preterm labor and pprom preterm labor can be predicted by using a uh, lot of uh, vasoactive amines and materials like that but still it does not come to the uh, clinical armamentarium of uh, the doctors whereas it's on the research and um, only at the industry level so one is probably we can uh, think in terms of uh, uh, doing a fetal fibronectin and routine transvaginal ultrasound but their specificity sensitivity varies and it becomes very difficult to predict but yes with certain degrees of specificity and sensitivity preterm labor can be predicted so any specific strategies that you would like to highlight which could be used to improve these conditions uh, we could use the uh, to prevent preterm labor is as i said very difficult but we can probably treat preterm labor because 10 to 15 percent of uh, fetal neonatal morbidity mortality comes because of preterm labor and pprom the strategies we at the moment follow are one is give tocolytics which have their own plus and minus there are a huge range of tocolytics available at the moment and uh, the newer one atosiban has come into picture and atosiban is being widely used but the problem with atosiban is that it is very expensive at the moment in uh, the indian subcontinent whereas it's very easy for the uh, uk to use whereas the us it's not uh, still approved uh, for its use and uh, so if not atosiban, do we have any other options? Yes, we have a huge range of tocolytics. The commonest one and the cheapest one which we use is infidepine and uh, we use other range of tocolytics depending on the institutional policy and uh, steroids do take a lot of important role in uh, preventing the complications of the preterm birth and so we use steroids. So tocolytics and steroids are two big pillars to prevent the complications of preterm labor. So, sir, apart from the oxytocin antagonist, atosiban, as you said over here, any other newer modalities or interventions which could be used for the treatment of this condition? Uh, yeah, at the moment, if we can think in terms of a short cervix leading to a preterm labor, preterm pre premature rupture of membranes, then probably uh, the Arabin pessary, which is coming into picture now, still which is not available in India, it is again on the research process, but India is not far off from any uh, recent developments and we will get it very soon. And the Arabin pessary inserted for a short cervix takes a real important role in uh, preventing uh, preterm birth one. And vaginal progesterones are far beyond uh, effectiveness that they've been proved very well that vaginal progesterone does have a very important role in prevention of uh, preterm labor if at all we find out a short cervix at the earliest and so these two are probably the recent innovations which can matter to us in a big way so sir to conclude the discussion would you like to give you know three points that would be helpful for the gynecologists out there oh, definitely uh, preterm labor is probably not a preventable disease but it is probably a disease which can be diagnosed and treated at the earliest and uh, tertiary care setup would be important for delivery of a preterm birth one two there are recent uh, innovations which can be used to predict and prevent preterm labor but it will take some more time to come to the uh, clinician's desk and tocolytics and steroids do play a lot of role in managing a preterm birth and though there have been innovations up and down and drugs in and out and lastly antibiotics play a very limited role in preterm labor whereas they play a very vital role in preterm premature rupture of membranes that was uh, a very wonderful insight on the topic of preterm labor and uh, thank you so much sir for being with us today in the my studio my pleasure too thank you so much